This is the second part of the first experiment for pH 4454, the introduction to the SR785 signal analyzer. So this is the Stanford Research Systems SR785. It's a two-channel dynamic signal analyzer. So you're going to use this to measure the transfer function uh, using swept sign signal analysis of a three-terminal piezoelectric buzzer element. So this is the piezoceramic flexural disc that you will be measuring. There are three connections on it. There's the drive, which is the larger area here. There's the sensing element, which is the center part here. And then there's the ground, which is the outer part. This inner part, which is used for sensing, is normally used with a positive feedback amplifier in order to drive this element at resonance. And it's used as a buzzer. We're going to take advantage of that and use that as a sensing element to measure the resonant frequency of the buzzer. So now I've connected our buzzer element to the analyzer. This is the output of the analyzer. It goes to the drive port on the buzzer element and then it also goes to the input of channel 1, input A, and then the sensing part of the buzzer element goes to channel 2, input A. So with the analyzer all set up as per the instructions in the write-up, I'm going to do a swept sign from 500 hertz to 10 kilohertz. So I'll go ahead and hit start. You should always get into the habit of doing an auto scale for each channel after you take a new measurement. So what we see are a number of resonant peaks and notches that are known as anti-resonances. The most important thing is that first large resonant peak, which is right at 2.075 kilohertz with a magnitude of 12.51 dB. So let's go ahead and zoom in on that peak. So under frequency, I'm going to pick a start frequency of, let's say, 1 kilohertz and a stop frequency of 3 kilohertz. And go ahead and do a sweep. Now that beeping that you heard was because the input to these two channels was not scaled properly. So I'm going to go ahead and do the sweep again and I'm going to hit auto range for both channels. So it's going to auto range the input of these channels while it's taking the data. And I'll go ahead and auto scale again. So here's our peak right at 2.075 kilohertz with a magnitude of 12.685 dB. Of course, these values are different now because I've zoomed in tighter on the peak, so I have better quality data. In order to measure the Q of this peak, I'm going to have to zoom in a lot tighter than this. So let's try a start frequency of 2 kilohertz and a stop frequency of 2.15 kilohertz. And auto scale. So here's our peak and 
Now it's easier to measure the minus 3 dB down point on either side. So now we find the peak again, right here at 2.0739 kilohertz with a magnitude of 12.72 dB. Notice how the phase is 93 degrees. If I move the cursor so that it reads 90 degrees, somewhere in between these two data points, we see that I'm a little bit off the resonant peak, just a small amount, 2.0746 kilohertz. Now let's try reducing the source amplitude to 25 millivolts. And as you can see, the plot looks pretty much the same. Our resonance is at 2.0746 kilohertz. Now let's try a source amplitude of 100 millivolts. And again, the plot is very similar. The peak may have shifted a tiny bit, 2.0739 kilohertz. And now let's try a drive level of 1 volt. Now you can see a much bigger shift in the peak. So now it's at 2.0588 kilohertz.